And we're back to learning CapCut. Let me show you how you can create a panel slide in effect. I'll just use these three vertical clips. So it's this typical TikTok format, 9x16. System is loading pretty slow today, sorry about that, but here we are now. Next step is to change the ratio to 16 by 9 and then I reposition them. First clip to the left, second one I make it a bit bigger from the center on so that we don't have any black areas. Third one, I put it on top and I want to have it on the right. So this is our starting point. Let us cut this. I use the split to B for that so that they all have the same length. And after that, we'll add our animation. You can use an inbuilt animation for slide down and also slide right, I believe, is inbuilt for in. When you want to add it to the second clip and you click on it, it's going to be added to the beginning and not where you put the marker. So let me zoom in a little bit. To fix that, we'll just split it right there and then delete the first part here on the left. And now we have to reposition this clip and if it always gets drawn back to the starting point. It's because of the snapping that's enabled by default. It should be the first option right here for this magnet track. So let me turn that off. And now I can drag this to where the marker is. And now if we add our slider animation here, it's where it's supposed to be. We have to do the same for our third clip. So split tool, cut it, delete the first part. As I've said, inbuilt is for in, I believe, only slide right and slide down. So if you want to have a slide up or a slide left at the beginning, you have to create them manually. Let me show you how you can do that. We go to the start point of this clip. We go to video, basic, and we'll start with the position, create a keyframe. As I've said, I'm at the beginning of the clip. And make sure that this clip is active, obviously, so left click on it in the timeline. We'll position it out of frame, and then I move the slider forward, maybe up to here. Create the next keyframe. We have to find this clip, so let me just make this 2000, and there it is. And now we can left click drag on it, drag it to the left, and that's fine. I'll play it. And now it slides in from the right towards the left. So this is how you could do that manually. Same process works obviously for all directions. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.